there is one experiment which encapsulates all the, uh, I was going to say weirdness, but it's all, let's say all the properties of the quantum world. It's called the double slit experiment. The double slit experiment is essentially, let's say you have something that will emit, let, let's say electrons, so particles, and then you have a barrier that has two slits cut in it and a, a detector, another screen uh, that the electrons will hit. So, and you, so you fire the electrons out. So what will that look like? Well, if you think of the electrons as just little particles, little bullets, let's say, that are emitted from this gun, then you would imagine that the electrons can go through one slit or the other one, depending on how they come out. And you can imagine that they might get deflected around a little bit when they go through the slits. But basically, on the screen, you would expect most of the electrons to appear opposite one or the other of the slits, with maybe a bit of a spread because they rattle around a bit when they go through. But that's not what you see. What you see is a very clear pattern on the screen. You see sort of stripes, a stripe on the screen where you get lots of electrons, and then a stripe where you get very few or none, and then another stripe where you get lots, and then a stripe where you get very few or none, and then another stripe, and then very few or none. That pattern is exactly the same pattern that you would get if you sent waves through the slits. And waves have the property that they can interfere with each other. So you can get the peak of one wave arriving at the screen from one slit, and a trough of a wave arriving at the screen from another slit. And if everything's lined up correctly, the peak and the trough cancel out and you get nothing. The fact that you get it from particles is interesting. But here's another interesting thing. You still get that pattern if you send one particle at a time through the slits. So that's a very strange picture of reality. We surely think of particles as following definite paths. It might be that you don't know quite which path it's going to take, but surely you would say, in reality, it will go one route or the other route. But that experiment tells us that nature is not like that. It tells us that the electron must explore all routes on the way from the gun to the screen. But I suppose the problem comes when you say, well, what does it mean? Is it just calculation or is, is this just mathematics? Or does it really mean that the electron explores every possible route? You might consider it going to the Andromeda galaxy and back. <laughs> every possible route on its journey from when it's emitted to when it's detected. Many physicists now would say that that is a correct description of reality. The particle does. The problem with quantum mechanics, I suppose, is what, what, when you try to interpret what the calculation means for the nature of reality.